Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, while Ethereum is still consolidating in this sideways price range, Bitcoin, on the other hand, is playing out a new pattern in the short term and forming new patterns that we need to pay attention to. So I'll be talking about that in just a moment. Definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the weekly Bitcoin chart, and right now we still have this significant area of resistance sitting in between around 36,000 to 38,000. But considering not much has changed over the last one day on the weekly Bitcoin chart, getting straight into the daily Bitcoin chart, and right now, as I've recorded in this video, if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin MACD, this is showing a further decline, at least in the short term, a decline in bullish momentum. But with that being said, because we have not confirmed a new bearish cross in this indicator and we're still a decent way away from a potential bearish cross basically that means in terms of the trend and momentum here on the daily chart overall we are still more bullish than bearish it's just in the shorter term of course we're taking a pause from all of that bullish price action that we saw especially over the last one to two weeks and so essentially we're just cooling off in the short term from all of that bullish price action especially while the rsi is still extremely overbought on the daily time frame and now I won't be going too much into detail about the daily Bitcoin RSI in this video because I have done that in the last few videos here on the channel. But basically, if you're new to the channel with the daily Bitcoin RSI looking this extremely overbought, this basically means it's extremely likely that no matter if the price forms lower highs or higher highs over the coming weeks, it's extremely likely that the RSI will form lower highs. And so this essentially means a potential pullback for the price if we form lower highs in the price or if we form higher higher highs in the price, that would mean a potential bearish divergence. And once again, if you want to know more about that possible bearish divergence and a possible buying opportunity happening within around one to two months from now, then check out my last few videos here on the channel. And as for significant support on the daily time frame, we still have this previous area of resistance, which should now act as new support sitting in between around 30.5k to 31.5k in case we see any major pullback. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, looking at the one hour Bitcoin chart, as I said a couple of days ago now on the channel, we did have a rising wedge pattern here in the price of Bitcoin just on the one hour time frame. And so considering we confirmed a break below that line of support, activating the rising wedge pattern, this technically set up a price target at around 33.1K. And obviously since the point of the breakdown, which was at around 34 and a half thousand, the price has gotten very close to the technical price target, once again at around 33. 3.1k and the Bitcoin price got as low as around 33.4k just recently over the last one to two days. But of course, another signal I was watching a few days ago now on the channel was a small bearish divergence here just on the one hour time frame, pointing towards either a short term pullback or some choppy sideways price action just over the next one to two days, which did play out as expected. But what we are now seeing on the one hour Bitcoin chart is a new bullish divergence pattern, which has been confirmed and is now playing out. And so this basically means the opposite of that previous bearish divergence. So once again, this means we do just see a slight bullish relief or some choppy sideways price action over the next one day or so. And so essentially this short-term bullish divergence basically invalidates this previous short-term bearish divergence. And also due to the fact that we have a new bullish divergence on the one hour time frame, it's unlikely we're going to actually hit that full technical price target at around 30 3.1k at least not within the next one day or so and so just keep that in mind it's possible this previous rising wedge pattern just on the one hour chart could invalidate due to this new bullish divergence once again just on the one hour bitcoin chart and once again over the last one day this small bullish divergence has been playing out in the form of a slight bullish relief and if you're looking at this two hour bitcoin chart this slight bullish relief means the price of bitcoin is essentially forming a parallel channel a horizontal horizontal parallel channel. And so of course, this could be a possible bull flag pattern, a bullish flag pattern, if we confirm a breakout above this line of resistance, which is sitting at around 34.8 to 34.9k approximately. And if we end up seeing that happening, if we see a confirmed breakout back above around 34.9k, ideally above 35k, then in that case, looking at a technical price target for this potential bull flag pattern, that would set up a price target at around 
38.3 to 38.4K. And so from the point of the breakout to that potential price target, that is around a 10% move to the upside in the price of Bitcoin if we first confirm a breakout above this resistance. And it's also important to mention that even in that scenario, even if we do confirm this breakout above around 35K, of course, we still have that major resistance on the weekly timeframe in between around 36K to 38K. And so obviously the price of Bitcoin could struggle in that area, even if we do see a breakout here in the short term. And something else to pay attention to here on this two hour Bitcoin chart is actually a possible head and shoulders pattern forming. Because as we can see here, we have a possible left shoulder, a possible head, and right now a potential right shoulder forming. And now it is important to understand that this potential head and shoulders pattern on the two hour Bitcoin chart is not yet confirmed. Because in order for this pattern to confirm, we need to complete this right shoulder with a pullback back down towards around 33.6k. And then we need to see a confirmed break below this line of support at around 33.6k with confirmation like candle closes below that level. And then in that case, that would technically activate the head and shoulders pattern here on the two hour time frame, which would actually set up a bearish price target for the price of Bitcoin. And that bearish price target would be sitting at around 32.4k, which would be around a three and a half percent move to the downside. And so at least for now in the short term, while the price of Bitcoin is in between around 33.6k and around 34.9k, basically while the price is trading in this sideways price range, we're looking relatively neutral in the shorter term. And then the moment we confirm a break either below this support or above this resistance, that is when we set up the next price target and the next potential trade. And as for support and resistance in the Bitcoin order books across multiple exchanges, we have a decent amount of buy orders acting as support going down towards around 33.5k. And so basically right at around this horizontal level of resistance, once again, there's a lot of buy orders sitting around those prices. And as for resistance, looking at the sell orders, we have a decent amount of sell orders in between around 34.7k to 35k acting as resistance. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the three day ETH to US dollar chart. And over the last one day, not a lot has changed on this chart right here, because technically speaking, this breakout for the falling wedge pattern is still currently active with an active price target at approximately 2.1K. And this only invalidates if we see a confirmed break back below around 1.7K. And so zooming straight into the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And once again, we still have this important area of resistance in between around 1850 to 1890 approximately. And as for short term support, we do have support at around 1730 to 1750 based on these previous highs acting as resistance, now acting as new support. And in a more bearish scenario, we also have some more support down towards around 1660. And as for the daily Ethereum price oscillators, right now the MACD like Bitcoin is showing a slight reduction in bullish momentum, at least in the short term. And so as I said earlier in this video, and as I said in my last video here on the channel, once again, this means we're basically slowing down from all of that bullish price action that we've seen recently. And of course, this could also be due to the fact that the RSI on the daily time frame also recently entered into overbought territories. And of course, the price has just recently run into important resistance. And so basically, we're just cooling off in the short term, potentially getting ready for another leg to the upside after we build up some more room to the upside in the RSI. And speaking of the daily Ethereum RSI, as of right now, we have not yet broken this higher low structure, which means the bullish divergence on the daily time frame is technically still active. And what else is technically still active is this bullish price target at around 1980 for this broadening wedge pattern. And this bullish price target and this pattern only invalidate if we see a confirmed break back below around 1730. And if you're looking at the short term for the price of ETH on the one hour time frame, as of right now, the price of ETH is still consolidating sideways in this sideways price range. And like Bitcoin, we do actually have a very small bullish divergence here on the one hour chart in the price of ETH because we have very slightly lower lows in the one hour candle closes while also confirming slightly higher lows here in the one hour Ethereum RSI. And so once again, this technically invalidates this previous short term bearish divergence. And so essentially overall, just in the immediate short term over the next one day, we're looking relatively neutral. So I do continue to expect 
some choppy sideways price action over the next one day. But as I said in my last video here on the channel, it's possible that this could turn out to be a bull flag pattern, a bullish flag pattern, if we confirm a breakout above this resistance, which is sitting at around 1850. And of course, in that scenario, that would set up a bullish price target. And if you want to know what that price target is, then make sure to check out my last video here on the channel. But believe it or not, you can still make a lot of money in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways like it is right now. And if you want to know how to make money during all of this price action, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI, and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action like right now. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.